Terry, I want to introduce you to our 2016 Panasonic Kid Witness News Judges. Round of applause for Terry Seeley. Uh, Terry, I also want to introduce you to Robin and Angela. Just introduce yourselves. How are you doing? I'm Rob. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Angela. How Tell me what you? office you're from, Angela. Have you met Terry before? I don't think so. <laughs> um, I'm Angela Wambugu Cobb. I'm the Assistant Vice President for Development. So I work with our um, BCC Foundation. Very nice. And I'm Rob Boyland. We left you a message earlier, a little while ago. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're still, we're still working on it. But I'll leave you a voicemail tonight when this is over. Okay. Okay. I was wondering if, I think I, I, I emailed you. No, I text you about the score sheet from Tuesday. Can they be sent out to arrive tomorrow? Mm, that is FedEx. They might not arrive tomorrow. Yeah. We're, we're going to be leaving here at 9.30 tonight. So the oh, earliest okay. they can go out is tomorrow morning at 10. Okay. So they can arrive on Monday. That's fine. Okay. okay. You'll get them all on Monday then. That's fine. Because you get the first days and today's. So everyone, Terry's going to give you some words of welcome from Panasonic. She's been doing this and helped coordinate and set this up for over 20, is this the 27th year? I believe so. This is 27, yeah. 27 years. So uh, Ter was... Terry has grown up with a lot of filmmakers. <laughs> um, so this is it. Most of our students will not be graduating. They'll be with us for another semester or two. And I was hoping you could give them some words of welcome. Well, I welcome you on behalf of Panasonic. My name is Terry Cini. I'm the manager for Corporate Outreach Programs Department. And actually, back in 1999, when I was hired at Panasonic, I, they hired me just to do the Kid Witness News Program. Um, back then, we had about 200 schools around the country. We weren't dealing with high definition, anything. Um, it wasn't a global program. Uh, the kids had two big editing decks, a really big uh, camcorder, and um, there was no um, pro cuts, there was no laptops and all that kind of stuff. So they really um, had to learn some basics. Um, as, the, as technology has grown and, and the program has grown, um, some of you may or may not know that uh, we are now in 19 countries around the world at 533 schools. So, I mean, you guys are a part of something that's much bigger than what we're doing in the, in the United States. It, this is a global program, and these kids um, are awesome because the kids, um, the videos that you're seeing these kids do here, um, the kids around the world are doing the same thing. And they're talking about sports this year because we are the official sponsors of the Olympics. Um, so that's why we uh, have the sports theme this year. Um, but under normal circumstances, we're doing social issues and we're doing the environment. And what we find is that the kids are thinking about the same things. They're thinking about bullying, they're thinking about body image, they're thinking about the world and the environment. And um, we really, really appreciate you taking the time to listen to their stories to view the world through their eyes, and, and, and we hope that you enjoyed the videos. We haven't seen them yet. We haven't had time to watch them yet. Um, so we trust that you'll you know, take a look and, and judge them, and we pick the best ones out of what's there. I appreciate, you have no idea how much I appreciate your time. You know? But you guys look like you're having a party. You know, you have food. <laughs> and food. I can come and hang out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, um, some of the students had some questions about the Olympics. Um, sure. So raise your hand. Who's first? Christian? Uh, Say your full name. <laughs> My name is Christian Reyes. Hi, Terry. Hi, uh, Christian. <clears throat> so you said uh, Panasonic is the official sponsor for the Olympics. Uh, I just yes. want to know at what capacity uh, are you sponsoring them? Is it just funding, or will you be actually using Panasonic tech to record the mm -hmm. event? Sure, we're the official, uh, uh, one of the official sponsors, not only for the Olympics, but also for the Paralympics in Rio. And our sponsorship includes all the cameras. All the cameras, uh, all the shots that you see on TV, they're done by Panasonic cameras. 
there, I think I was told there's a, a couple thousand cameras. You know, so they set up, so when they go to Rio, we have, we have techs that go out and spec uh, the different um, uh, sports, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost for words, uh, the, the different um, areas of sports. And so, for instance, um, you know, they're going to set up cameras um, in, in, in different areas from, from above, on the, on the line, the thin line. I don't know what you call it. You guys probably know better than I do uh, the technical names for them. But um, all the cameras, all the shots, they go through the choreography of what you're going to see from the, the, we're talking about the Summer Olympics, so we're talking about from the runner, uh, the shot where he's down waiting to, for the gun to shoot off, to going across the finish line, to the sweat coming down his face, to, you know, all those different aspects. So that's, that's what we're doing. That's, that's our role. And what happens is that um, uh, we, I, we did it in the Atlanta, in Atlanta, and I think we still do it uh, going forward. We hire students to um, help with the filming and shooting of, of the Olympics, basically. So we have our technical folks um, go to one of the local universities, and they teach them how to use the cameras. And so, and then they hire the students to participate at the Olympics. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Excellent. And we have another question. Yes, ask, ask me. Yes, this is from Felix. Hi, Felix. Hi, my name is Felix. I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, I was about to ask what um, about what you just said. Do you guys mm -hmm. have more programs that involve college students, especially in New York? In New York? Yes. Unfortunately, we don't. This is the only uh, video program that we have, and it's for uh, K through 12. But that's something to consider. Yeah. And we have one more question. No. no? One more question. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, well, my name is. Stand, in. Stand up. My name is Darius Saldana, and I'm just wondering uh, if you guys have any new tech coming out in this next couple of years, or in the foreseeable future. You mean like groundbreaking technology? Yeah, like camera works, you know. <laughs> Panasonic, is, Panasonic is in the <laughs> forefront of groundbreaking technology. Anything yeah. on the horizon that our students should know about? I know when I went to uh, your new office in Newark, you had a wonderful 3D mm -hmm. display in your lobby. Is there something yeah. new happening with 3D? Are we getting avatar camera equipment coming out? No, <laughs> no, no, no 3D. We're not doing any 3D. Actually, what has what happened in the past couple of years is that we stopped making TV. We got out of the consumer product uh, field. Uh, but lately, uh, we brought back the TV set. I think some of you may be familiar with 4K. Mm -hmm. uh, the students this year got new cameras. They got 4K camcorders. That's the latest technology, not only in, in cameras, but also in TV sets. I think one of the coolest things that, that's going to come out you can't find it anywhere. It is a TV set that um, uh, it disappears when you turn it off. So you have it on your wall, and so what happens is that when you turn off the TV set, it blends into the wall, or it turns into a picture, uh, like a picture. But when you turn on the TV set, then then you get to see the TV, and that's pretty hot right now. So. Um, We'll have to let you know when that comes out. Well, we'll I have to tell you, you my, my, <laughs> Terry, my dog can't wait for that because he's always looking to lick the TV. Now he won't <laughs> sit, which is great. Um, Terry, this is wonderful. I thank you so much for spending some time with us this evening Absolutely. with your busy schedule. I and do have a question. Yes. I have a question for everybody and, and you as well, Jeff. Um, what would you guys think about if we um, – uh, had a workshop, and, and would you guys be willing to teach some of the young kids how to shoot? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Raise your hand if you want to be a, a teacher tutor. Awesome. You got you got a large group. So okay, we'll so talk, and I'm sure we could. Uh, that would be fun. And you will travel the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Terry, thank you very much. I'll be in touch, and a round of applause for Terry Cena.